everybody. Uh, I'm going to show you today two things in Linux. One is how to install the root action service menu. Um, if you don't know what that is, that's the menu when you right click on a folder or a file uh, to get extra root permission options. You can open it as root, you can modify it as root, delete it as root, things like that. Um, and the other one is I'm going to show you a small workaround for just a minor problem with the network browsing. So first let's go to the, uh, the root action service menu. It's really easy to install. So we're going to go to Google and we're going to search this term right here. If you can't see it, let me zoom in. Ubuntu root action service menu and it's going to be the very first result Let me zoom out here and scroll down and uh, I'm going to click on download for Ubuntu I didn't actually have to click the click here. It takes you to this repository. So that's what we'll be doing is really just installing a new repository. So what we're gonna do is copy this text right here. Then we're going to open up Synaptic Package Manager. <coughs> and we'll go to Settings, Repositories. Most of you, if you've already added uh, new repositories to Ubuntu, you probably already know how to do this. We're going to click Add. And then we're going to paste this line, and you'll just click Add Source. Now for me, I'm not going to click Add because I already have it. But what you should see is these two lines should appear in your synaptic, uh, in your software sources. And once they do, click Close and you may get a message after you click close that prompts you to reload the package database if you don't get that message just go to this button right here and click reload we'll let these reload and that'll give you an updated list of software you can install with the uh, repository that we just added to our system And mine takes a little while, sorry about that. Okay, so now we're just going to type in root, and the quick filter, and you'll see right here KDE service menu root actions package. All you want to do is uh, right click it and click mark for installation, which I can't do because it's already installed. Yours also won't have that little green block next to it. It'll be a plain empty white block like the rest indicating that it hasn't been installed yet. Um, once you mark it for installation you'll click apply and uh, let it install. Now the reason I'm doing these two fixes or these two tutorials in one is because installing that makes it easier to do the next thing that I want to show you. If we go to uh, any, once you have that installed, if you go to any folder, you can right click any folder or file, but in this case I want to do a folder. Right click uh, 
and then you should have this read actions menu and if it doesn't show up right away you might have to log out and back in or if it still doesn't show up uh, you, you'll have to restart the computer I don't know which um, so we're gonna open any folder in the root file manager and the file manager with root access so right click any folder root actions and go to open in file manager and now I'm gonna go to network <coughs> and to explain the problem I was having with the network is uh, whenever I go to Samba shares it would be blank by default if I right click Samba shares and go to properties this would basically look like this which it points to just the regular Samba root of the network which will show you domains and work groups and things like that and then um, and then if you click on the work group you'll see the computers in that work group but if you try to go to that address in Kubuntu it just shows a blank page which I can actually show you and then you'll see it's gonna load down here and nothing so I tried uh, I have another video that fixes the network browsing because there are other network browsing issues browsing uh, Windows shared folders in Linux and I have another fix for that to make sure that the network is actually set up properly um, so I would recommend that you go and check that video out first if you haven't applied that applied that fix already um, so now and the easiest way to tell is now if I put in my domain the address of my domain which is our work group is uh, smb colon forward slash forward slash and the name of the work group if I do that I get all the computers now the reason I call this a workaround is because it won't get the SMB server to show you or actually the SMB I guess you call it the browser or whatever it won't get you to show it won't get it to show you all of the work groups it'll only show you what's in the work group that you specify which for me is fine I put all the computers on one work group anyway so if you have a regular network with just one work group and you don't need to bother viewing other ones uh, then we'll just modify the shortcut. So, right click Samba, go to Properties, and uh, and this is in the root file manager. You have to do this as root. So, if yours looks like this, just simply add another forward slash and then type the name of the work group and click OK. I'm going to click Cancel because mine's already modified. And then from now on you should be able to double click the Samba shares and take you right to the uh, uh, the work group, the list of computers in that work group. Now one other thing uh, now we're going to open a regular access this is under my account now, this isn't as root, this file manager um, if you're having trouble getting it to work it might still be referencing the old the old um, link so what you want to do is just you can either go to view I think it's view um, reload or you can press the F5 key on your keyboard and you'll see it blinks a little bit and then when you hover the mouse over this you should see right right down here when I put the mouse over the changes and it shows the proper link now and then when you double click it you should get a list of computers if you're not getting that list of computers try applying my fix I have another video that shows you how to uh, to fix the network browsing issues in Ubuntu because there are issues right off the bat um, ever since I believe 10.04 or 9.10 I think uh, the issues just started to kick in and you have to modify a couple files it's very easy um, so I I guess that's it I hope that was helpful to you and I'm gonna link that other video on how to fix a network 
I'll put it right in the description.